Let's run a test and see if I can use the display signal output from Anchor 8-in-1 and 11-in-1 USB Type-C hub on a hardware calibrated display and get a successful calibration. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. I've recently done a comparison between two Anchor's USB Type-C hub that is their 8-in-1 and their 11-in-1. These can be used with any computers really, both Mac and PC. However, they're really designed with portable device laptop in mind because generally on a laptop, you don't have that much port. And specifically, they also really thought about using this and designing this for the Apple M1 computer. That is the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro M1 because on these computers, as great as they are, there's only two I.O. ports. That is the USB Type-C Thunderbolt ports on the side of the device, limiting the number of devices and peripherals that you can link up to your system. So with that in mind, I've done some further testing on here. I want to address a few things first before we talk about display signal, and that is the power deliveries, because I received some comments. Some people are saying that it may or may not work. In my testing on these M1 computers, they have been functioning just fine without any issues. And these ones, they don't usually use that much power anyway. So these 85 watt power delivery on these hub will work just fine with, for those. I've also gone in and test these hub on my 16 inch 2019 MacBook Pro and that also works just fine even though that laptops come with a 96 watt power adapter that is when it's using full power it's using up to 96 watt but having 85 watts I'm able to go through image processing display calibration browsing the web using Safari and all those other things fine without any issues whatsoever it never dropped out and it didn't stop charging my battery for any reason at all so again in my testing it has been functioning fine the only thing that I found out from these hub is that they do get warm to slightly hot when you're trying to use them. So just bear that in mind. It's not anything that will melt the device down, but it's not something to be concerned about. But just so that you're aware about that. And on these two hub, there are display signal out. And we're going to specifically focus on that because if there's any changes to these display signal whatsoever in the RGB range, with a hardware calibrated display, you may get a validation failure. And specifically for this demo, I'll be using BenQ SW line. This is the SW271C to do this demo and see if it works or not. In fact, truth be told, I already tested this off camera. So the HDMI on the M1 computers, with or without the hub, with or without the dongle, will tend to work just fine with these hardware calibrated display. It outputs full range without any issues. And I've let's, again, I've tested these hub with HDMI. They work just fine. But what I'm going to do here is test the display port output and kind of just show you the process and what cables you need to link up to here in order to get a successful calibration. Now, one more thing I want to add on before we get to linking all these things up is that ideally, if you have a newer BenQ display that has the C in the name, the SW, anything with the C, it's probably best to use a USB type C to USB type C cable or if your display have power delivery because this one cable will carry the IO signal, the display signal, and will also provide power to your laptop. So you're generally gonna be okay there. But if you want to link other devices up and you just want to have that ease of just plugging one cable in without having to plug that many things in, well, these do come in handy. So let's start plugging things in. So as I mentioned, you can use an HDMI cable, but we're not gonna use that here. So I'm gonna set this to the side and I will take out the display port cables. Now, for this, you're going to need a full display port to full display port, not the mini to full that is included with, for example, SW display. So those won't work. Just something to keep in mind there if you want to use the display port signal. So I'll plug that in on the side there. I also will find the PD power port and I will also plug in the PD power to this hub so that it can charge my laptop while I'm doing this. Now, if I go in and plug this into my computer right now, my M1, and try to run a calibration like this, it won't work. In fact, Palette Master Element will give you an error saying that either is an FTDI error or you need to plug in your USB port between the display to the computer. And that is because this hub is really only providing the display signal and there's no input output, no USB signal cable going between the hub and the display or the display and the computer. So we need to provide that communication and we're going to do that via the cable that is included with all BenQ SUV display. This is a USB 3 type A on one end and type B on the other end. And what we're simply going to do is plug the type A into the hub and we're going to plug the type B into the uplink port on your SW display, which most of them are going to be 
If you're just facing the back of the display, it's going to be on the far right side of the display itself. All right, we'll plug this one in and you can choose to plug in between the USB 2.0 and the 3 hub without any problem at all. So you can choose between the type A. I'm going to plug in the 2.0 for this one. And lastly, our color calibration devices. For this, I'll be using Calibrite Color Checker Display Plus. So this one has a USB type A on the end and you can choose to plug this in directly on the side of the display because it has two USB type A or you can certainly plug it in directly into the USB type C hub. What I'm going to do is plug this into the USB type C hub and with this 11 in one because I occupy one of the USB 2.0s. I have one 2.0 and one 3.0 left. So what I'm going to do now is just plug it into the 2.0 and it will work just fine without any issues. But if you find that, you know, it's not working on yours, just switch it to a 3.0 and see what happens there. So plug this in. Let's bring all the cables to the other side of this table. And we're going to link this up to the display. So I'll start out by plugging this into my laptop and I'll plug in all the other display cables and the USB into the display itself. And then we'll come back and do a calibration. All right, so I've hooked everything up, launch palette master element, and we can now get started with the calibration process. I'll tilt the display right now in order to prepare everything. And I'm gonna quickly go through the setting screens. So if you wanna see a specific guide, you can just search my channel for that. I released so many guides on Palette Master Element, how to calibrate these display. But what we're gonna do now is start the calibration process. And let's click continue. So we'll have this calibrate once it's finished, we'll come back, run a validation, and see if this passed or not, so we can definitively say if this hub is going to work with hardware calibrated display, specifically SW Display from BenQ. We'll be back soon. So that was quick. Well, it's because I really fast forward the footage there. But anyway, let's take a look at the calibration result here. I'm able to achieve close to 80 candela, the value that I have set. And for the target color temperature, it's at 65 Kelvin or 6500 Kelvin, 6505 to be precise. I'm able to get 6490. So, so far, this is looking really good. Let's go in to validate the calibration. And this should go by much quicker than the actual calibration itself. We'll start here and see if this is going to work. And there we have it. So using this hub with DisplayPort cable, I'm able to get a validation to pass, meaning that pretty much the hub is not doing any type of signal manipulation from the computer to the display whatsoever. So it's not truncating the RGB signal or anything like that, meaning this is working just fine. I've also tested the HDMI, as I mentioned, off camera, and I can verify that those work. So we're not gonna have any issues here. So anyway, if you're considering getting one of these hub for your Apple M1 computer or the portable M1 computer, this would be a good thing to have just to have around or just to even throw in a bag and travel with. So like I said, I just want to test that out and give you some of the result and some of my finding here. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe and hit on the bell if you're new. And remember, in art we trust.